Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to do my January wrap up because it's kind of the end of the month and I am pretty sure that I'm not going to be able to finish my current read. We'll see, but <laughs> if I do finish my current read then I will just discuss it in the next wrap up. Let's quickly get started. The first book that I read this month was The Fellowship of the Ring. This was one of kind of I carried uh, <laughs> with um, December into January. So most of it I did read on December, but I did finish this book on January and I really did enjoy it. Um, but the thing that really stood out to me is that it, tonally it kind of changes a bit from The Hobbit. And I was discussing this with a friend um, who is also reading both books. And we were talking about how The Hobbit is such a lighthearted, fun story and the stakes aren't as high as The Lord of the Rings. So, um, really enjoyed it. Watched the movie. I think I enjoyed the movie more. I think so. I really did just have a fun time reading, uh, watching everything that I have read unfold and I'm excited to continue with the series. The audiobook for this book is also great. It is narrated is it by rob eglis i think it's rob eglis not really sure but yes i do pair this with the audiobook and it's just such a great experience and i really do recommend it so yes that was the first book and i really did enjoy this one then i read beach read by i forgot the author's name <laughs> i had high expectations about this book i even had it physically and i kind of gave it away because um, I don't think that I will be reading for uh, uh, reading it again. It's not that the book was bad, it's just that it, it wasn't as good as I thought that it was going to be. It's basically the story of this woman, She her father passed away and she's kind of dealing with the grief of her father's passing and she decides to, she's a writer by the way, and she decides to go to this kind of lake or beach house um, where his father uh, used to live and he had this other house anyway um, and she decides to retreat there not only to deal with her grief but also to to write another book and she is having a really hard time doing so she's a romance writer and uh, her neighbor coincidentally is also a writer and he's having a hard time as well writing his so they decide to switch genres and uh, the man, the, the the love interest is going to be writing a romance, she's going to be writing a very gritty sort of dark story. And yeah, I don't know why this book didn't work for me. I just found it boring and I just didn't um, connect with the characters. I don't know what else to say about it, so... <laughs> kind of a three star. It's kind of in the meh category because there was nothing wrong with it, but I know that a lot of people really, really do enjoy it. So don't take my opinion for it if you think that you will like this book be sure to pick it up but it just i feel like it wasn't for me and i don't know why the next book that i read was far from the madding crowd by thomas hardy this is my first thomas hardy book and i really i enjoyed it i just think that thomas hardy kind of writes a lot more and it's extremely descriptive about scenery and and people and stuff like that and i don't mind that but it came to a point where i was just kind of bored with, um, not bored, it just kind of, I, I fell asleep while he was describing, or had two or three paragraphs of just describing a scenery. Um, and he has beautiful writing, so it's, maybe it is because I already watched the movie and I already knew what was gonna happen. And I feel like even the movie, though I enjoyed it, there was this, if you know about the story, there was a section in which I was just extremely annoyed with the main character um, and her choice of love and partner. I'm trying to be very vague, but I was extremely annoyed at her and um, that didn't change from the movie to the book. So yes, definitely did enjoy it. I'm just excited to read something that I have not seen and kind of the anticipation of knowing what will happen will keep me going and will keep me more engaged in the story. Um, I just think that I just wanted to get this one out of the way because I knew that I already read 
or saw the movie and I knew what the story was. So yes. Um, last but certainly not least, it I read Factfulness by Hans Rothling. This was a book that has always been on my radar because Bill Gates talks, talks about it a lot and the premise of it is really interesting. So um, basically the author was trying to argue that the world is actually better than we know or think that it is. Um, and I think he convinced me his arguments were solid. Um, and he uses a lot of data to just kind of see how we have how we have progressed over the years in terms of uh, extreme poverty, civil rights, um, just education, all of these kind of things that at one point were extremely horrible. And now with time, we have been able to, yeah, to become a better society, even though maybe through the media, we don't really see it. Um, I think that this, this is, a, it's a great book. I just think that at times, again, um, I felt bored with some of the data that he was presenting, but I think that it comes with the fact that there are some topics that I just found more interesting than others. Um, but yes, it is a wonderful, book and it's very engaging and it's very you can tell the excitement of the author uh, about just trying to make people see that we are actually getting better as a world and as a planet um, and yeah and that there's still much work to do but we have come a long way uh, but I think that one of the arguments that he explains so well is just how before there was so many just horrible stuff going on and yet it went unreported and now at the smallest instance of kind of a bad or horrible event the media constantly shows us um in in a very dramatic way the things that are happening um so he for example he gives the explanation of or the example of a plane crash and how when we see a plane crash, it's just such a horrible event, of course, but it is never said that, for instance, plane crashes have descended. The amount of plane crashes have descended a lot since, I don't know, the invention of planes um, and how engineers have just done a great job at doing that. So yes, great book, really did enjoy it. Um, and the ending kind of, it's surprising. There's a surprise and a twist in the end, so. Um, yes, and finally, the book that I'm currently reading and that I'm so excited to read is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I have been looking forward to reading this book for so long. I'm just at the beginning, which is why I said that I probably won't finish this book um, during the month, but yes, this feels and just, I'm so excited. Um, so I will let you guys know what I think about this one in the upcoming month. So yes, let me know what books did you read during the month and which ones were your favorites. So yes, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys with the next video.